Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with another hair video. Today's video is sponsored by You Nice Hair. They were kind of seeing me over this reddish brown body wave 13 by 4 lace frontal unit in 26 inches and 150% density. Another fall unit for y'all. I just did another fall color in my last video, the burgundy unit. So we got the fall wigs coming. Get your fall units. But yes, as you can see, I did these cute little wand curls in it. And this will also be a detailed install video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of those. So I did it in this video. So y'all know I normally speed up my installs because it seems pretty self-explanatory to me, but it was time for an updated install routine. So so I did go into detail with that. Yeah, but she's cute though, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm not gonna do no more talking. We're gonna start with the unboxing. Y'all already know how this goes. Then we're gonna get to the install and styling portion. And then I will give y'all my review on this unit. So if you wanna see all of that, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so we're going to start with the ball cap. And look at this wig cap that they sent me, y'all. Like, it's so thin. And I just wanted to show y'all because I've never seen a wig cap that thin. That's so convenient. But anyway, we're going to start with the Got to Be Gel in the black bottle. And I'm just taking a popsicle stick to spread this on my hairline. And then I'm going to take my edge brush and slick all the hairs back just to get them out the way so we can get ready to glue down this cap. So now we're going to pull our wig cap down and make sure you're pulling it down over your ears because we are going to take our scissors now and cut out the ear holes. And you do this first. Do this before you do anything else. Don't put no glue down yet. Cut out your ear holes first. So once you've done that, now you can take your spray. I'm using the Even Wonder Lace Bond spray in the black can. I usually use the red can, but I ran out and my sister had the black can. So I'm using that today. It works the same. And I'm just spraying it along my hairline in the shape of my hairline. And I'm taking my blow dryer and blow drying on cool to spray down my cap. That's all I use. I don't use nothing else for my cap. Once that's dry, you want to apply your makeup. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the shade 420. And I mixed that with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. That is my shade. I had learned that I needed two mixed colors to get my shade. It wasn't one foundation or one concealer that matched me. So I had to mix some stuff. You may have to do the same thing. But yeah, I'm just applying this with a makeup brush. I use the one they sent me. And I apply this before I cut my cap off because you don't have to clean up all that makeup off your forehead. So yeah. And I also apply some to the inside of my wig on the lace, you know, make sure it matches your skin tone. Now, this is where I messed up at, y'all. Do not do that. And that's where I realized I messed up at, too, right there. Don't cut that band off. Cut around the band because you see how it's trying to come up a little bit in the back? It's because nothing is holding it there because I cut that band off. So cut around the band and pull it over your head like a headband. And then just cut off the rest of the cap. But yeah, it helps your wig cap last longer when you do that because like I said, nothing is holding it there in the back and that's what makes it come up in the back because you cut the band off. Like that was the only security it had. I was in a rush that day, y'all. That's why I'm sitting here messing up. But anyway, I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol. I use 91% to clean off my skin where the glue will be, remove any dirt, oils, anything like that that will keep my wig from sticking. You want to clean all that off so your wig will stick, the glue will stick, and your install will last. Then I'm going to take some Boho Skin Protect and go over that same area with that to protect my skin during my install because you can't do too much with your skin in that area because the wig is on it. Duh. Ooh, that's rude. Um, now I'm going to put the wig on, make sure I can get it past the wig cap, and make sure none of it is sticking out in front of the hairline. If it is, this will be the point where you trim that off to make sure none of it is sticking out. If you're good, now you can put your combs in. Y'all, I used to not wear the combs in my wigs, and I don't know why in the world I was doing that, because it literally keeps my wigs from sliding back and my installs last longer. Like, if the combs are in, the wig can't go nowhere. It can't slide back. Like, duh, girl, common sense. Get it together. But yeah, if you have problems with your wig sliding back during your install, it's probably because your combs aren't in. I know some people can't do that because it gives them headaches or it irritates them or whatever. But if you can, put the combs in, please. 
But now I'm taking my hot comb and just hot combing all the hairs back, any strays, flyaways, all the hairs in the front, just getting them back out of the way. So when we get ready to glue this wig down, nothing is in our way, nothing is flying around in the glue, nothing like that. So now I'm taking this black eyeliner pencil and I just use this to dot along the hairline, basically to trace out the hairline onto my skin. It will transfer through the lace onto your skin. And that way, you know exactly where to place the glue, how far up you need to go, and where you need to stop at with the glue. So you don't have to worry about cleaning off any glue off your skin, anything like that. And you know exactly where the wig needs to lay at. This helps me. I know everybody doesn't do this, but this helps me. I can't do it any other way. I've tried it. It just doesn't work for me. And then I'm just cutting the lace in sections so we can work in sections when we get ready to glue it down. Now I'm taking the Boho Active. I always use this. It's the only glue I have ever used. My trusty boho active i only did one layer today because i didn't plan on wearing this wig that long probably for like a week so that's why i only did one layer but you can do three layers for it to last longer and i'm just dotting back and forth between the cap and my skin and we're going to take a popsicle stick and spread that thin spread it out you don't want no lumps and clumps in the glue when we get ready to press this lace into it but yes make sure the glue is on the cap and your skin as well so with bow holds, you have to wait till it dries clear before you do your next layer. If you're doing another layer, like I said, I only did one layer. Or before you lay the lace down. It has to be clear before you lay the lace down. And I'm just taking my little fan right here because like I said, I was in a rush this day. That's so why I had to speed up this drying process. Wait for it to turn clear and then you can pull the lace down onto the glue. And see how these dots help? You literally can place the dots that's on the lace right on top of the dots that are on your skin. And it'll be right where you placed it at before. Like, it's no confusion. That's why I don't see why everybody doesn't do this. But anyway. I'm just taking my rat tail comb. You need to use a fine tooth comb and press that lace into the glue. Press it into your skin. And I'm just pressing and combing back all around the lace until it's down. So now I'm just getting the hair out of the way. I just put it up in like a claw clip or something. You can use whatever you want to use to get it out of the way, but just get it out of the way because we're going to get ready to tie it down after we spray it with the Even Wonder Lace spray again, the same spray we use on the ball cap. Just spray it along the entire hairline where the glue is. But this just gives it an extra hold and makes your install last longer. And it also helps contribute to the melt. I don't know what it is, but it really contributes to the melt, like melting that lace down. Then you want to tie it down with an elastic band, a melt band, whatever. I'm using the melt band that they sent me. But you got to tie it down because this also contributes to the melt as well. You want that lace melted, you got to tie it down. And it may give you a little headache, but beauty's pain, babe. Okay, got to tie it down. And I'm just blow drying on hot for 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's dry, you can take that band off and feel all the blood circulation coming back to your head because, baby, it's tight. And I'm just taking some makeup and going over the areas um, that had like a little bit of white looking residue or whatever. I'm just taking like the extra makeup that's on this brush and going over that. That's all I'm doing. So if you have that issue, you know, just go over a little bit of makeup. It's fine. And then I'm taking my edge comb and just loosening up all the hairs from where I sprayed that Even Wonder Lace on it. You know, that stuff plasters the hair to your skin. So, you know, got to use the comb. That helps because the teeth are so fine on the edge comb and just loosen up all those hairs. And now we're getting ready to cut off the lace. So I use these little tiny cosmetic scissors that came in like a nail kit. You can use the razor. I know some people use razors to cut their lace off. I don't do that because I'm afraid I'm going to slice my head open. But you can if you want to and just cut the lace off. And this is the point where you would cut around your ears as well. But this wig didn't go all the way to my ears. You will hear that in the review. Um, so I didn't have to worry about cutting around my ears because it didn't go there. So yeah. Now I'm just taking some isopropyl alcohol, the same one I used earlier, to clean the eyeliner off my forehead. And that's it for the install, for real. All I do after this is let the hair down and brush it out because when you cut the lace off, you can have some loose hairs in there that you may have cut. So just brush the hair out just to brush any of those loose stray hairs out of there. And that's it, y'all. That is my detail install routine. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about the styling since we're here. So I parted down the middle because I want to wear a middle part and I'm just taking my wax stick and going along the part, that area right there because when you get ready to hot comb it, it's gonna make it super flat. I don't know what it is about that wax stick, but it just makes it super flat when you put that hot comb to it. So yeah, I'm taking my hot comb, going over the area where I parted, making sure that's flat and also going along the hairline with the hot comb to make sure that's nice and flat as well. Oh, 
Now I'm taking a super thin brush and going in that part with the same makeup I used on my lace and my bald cap earlier, that same combination, and just going in the part. You do not need to have your parts extra wide. When you part your natural hair, it's not extra wide. You don't need to do all that. So just put a little bit in the part, you know, make it look a little bit more natural. And I'm just splitting the hair into two sections, clipping one side out of the way. And I'm going to start on my wand curls. So I'm just taking out a small section because my wand curls are super small. And I'm taking this Volumax hairspray and spraying on that section, combing it through with my rat tail comb and wand curling. I got this off of Amazon. It comes in like a set. It has different attachments. So it has different size barrels that come with it. This is the 0.35 to 0.7 inch wand, I think. So yeah. It works really well. I really recommend it. I'm going to link it in the description if you want to purchase it. But it has different attachments, different barrel sizes, all that good stuff. And then I just roll it up and pin it with a duckbill clip. And yeah, I'm just doing this the rest of the video. Y'all going to see me do this about 90 million more times because these sections are so small. This style is very time consuming. It's easy, but time consuming because it's, they're so small. So yeah, I'm just going to be wand curling this entire section. Y'all going to watch me do that. Just on the left side, I didn't do the right side on camera. Just the left side. I'm going to speed that up. If you want to watch it, you can. I know some people like to watch stuff come together. It's therapeutic to them, whatever the case may be. So if you want to watch it, you can. If you don't, you can skip to where I'm done. When I finish all this, you don't have to leave your little comments saying, oh, you could have left all that out or it's too long. Baby, it's not that deep. Just skip to the part where I'm through. Some people like to watch it. Some people don't. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. Just skip, okay? Okay. But yeah, that's my detailing and style routine. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it made sense to you. I hope I explained it well. If I didn't, feel free to leave some questions in the comments. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Enjoy the video. I just wanted to know, do you know somebody named, you, you know his name, oh yeah definitely, I know his name, but I just want to let you know he's mine, <laughs> no no, he's mine.
right y'all so y'all just saw the install and styling portion i'm gonna give y'all my review on this unit my curls don't feel a little bit since then because i've been out so but i think they held up pretty good y'all know body weight wigs hold curls better than straight units so I was able to put that to the test. That's a good thing about it. I was able to put that to the test, how long these curls were gonna hold. I've been out for a few hours and they still look pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, let me give y'all my review on this unit. So first things first, y'all already know, I gotta tell y'all if it's big head friendly or not. And she is big head friendly. I did not fight with her, did not struggle, nothing like that. So that's a plus always in my book. Cause y'all know I got a big head. I got a lot of hair. So people like to say that I don't have a big head. Um, I don't know. I mean, when I measured, I'm considered a large, like on the measurements, on the charts, I'm considered a large and I have a lot of hair so that doesn't help so i gotta get all of that up under my wig so i need my wigs to be big hair friendly but yeah she's big hair friendly the lace was easy to work with easy to melt i did pluck the unit i think i showed y'all that i didn't struggle plucking it i do have units sometimes that have like those stubborn knots that don't want to come out when you try and plucking you'd be literally fighting with it trying to get them knots out but the knots were easy to pluck the only issue i had with the lace was the 13 by 4 i don't think it's quite giving 13 ear to ear it doesn't quite touch my ear all the way on this side maybe like by half an inch it's not touching my ear on this side but on this side it is so yeah keep that in mind that may be a little off i'm not sure at least that's the experience that i had but it is giving me my four inches back my four inches apart in space so that's good other than that didn't have any problems out of the lace the density is 150 percent density it honestly feels thicker than that like this unit is very full and y'all know i don't do things you know that you know i don't do that she's really full for for 150 like this is giving 180 almost i've had some 200 wigs that ain't this full so somebody lying she's pretty full so we love that we love a good full thick unit yeah love that and then length check 26 inches let me stand up i want to mess up my curls too much because y'all still gotta take pictures and stuff i ain't took no pictures or nothing it's already late it's 12 34 but i'm gonna stretch it out so y'all can see y'all can get the um full fit details on instagram and possibly tiktok y'all go follow me on both of those this ain't the full fit y'all see that on instagram gotta go follow me there but anyway so i'm 5'3 this is where it stops at on me it's like right at my hips so i feel like it's giving 26 inches let me turn to the back so y'all can see where it stops so yeah it's past my butt in the back so definitely giving 26 inches past the link check test tangling and shedding i really don't have any issues with it tangling and i really don't have any issues with it shedding either which is surprising because you know color units shed a little bit more so i'm really surprised about that the shedding is not bad on this at all like it's like little to none so that's always a plus and i really think that's it y'all i really think that's all i have to say about this unit oh the curl like i said it's a body wave wig and these curls did last like they've lasted me all night i curled this hair at eight o'clock this morning i left it pinned up until like 6 45 when i took them down and it's 12 36 now so it's been about six hours and this is how they look after six hours so definitely holds a curl because these curls are very much still there still bouncy you know so yeah that's always a plus with body wave units and yeah i think that's everything so the only issue i had was the lace not exactly giving 13 inches ear to ear so with that being said i'm gonna give this unit a nine out of ten which is still pretty good i love it i love the color i love the texture it's super soft i love the density i literally love everything about it other than that so i definitely recommend you purchase this for your fall unit collection get you your fall wig if you want the link to this unit the link will be down in the description box below as always and if you purchase hair from you nice hair with my link you will get a free robe as well as a bonnet like the one that i had on in the video so yeah use my link get your free robe in a bonnet girl and yeah that's all i got for you guys so make sure y'all go check out the pictures on instagram follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok because i'm gonna do a few tiktoks i'm trying to stay active on there so y'all go follow me on there show some love and support and yeah that's everything i got to say well that's it for this video you guys hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on i'll see y'all in my next video bye